so I'm just trying to make videos quickly here and there because I never really feel like I have time or confidence to make them, but oh well. Just a quick message that I really, if I could give any advice to other women with Lyme disease and take more illness, my biggest advice for such a people younger than me would be to get married. Um, as a younger person with Lyme, I would see other patients
I, you know, who knew I'm actually a female, and, and then also I've, I've worked on my hormones with a PCOS treatment, I feel like a lot more female now, I have just more estrogen and progesterone, um, but yeah, like, it's, it's really good being married, um, and just having someone to go through this big challenge with. I don't know what to say if you're male, because the expectations for men in relationships are different, so I don't know how it works if you're, if you're critically ill as a man, um, but I would definitely say as a woman, there's so many, my husband's a software engineer, we go on blind uh, website, like, there's so many, like, well-paid men out there that just want a housewife, and they don't care if she doesn't make money, they don't care, you know, just somebody who, like, cares, you know, looks after their looks a little bit, and they sweet them, and carry them, and will deal with stuff so they can focus on their job, it's just, anyway, people are probably going to hate me for this, but <laughs> I'm just trying to get uh, the message out, and, uh, you know, <coughs> don't, like, self-censor, whatever, I guess don't, like, hold yourself back from dating just because you're sick, and it's always difficult with online dating because you, you're like, when do I tell them that I'm sick and like, th is it going to come up, you know, and so I always preferred meeting people in person because then I knew they were like okay with me in general and I was attracted to them and vice versa and I feel like in person is just a better way to meet because then you have like a whole evolutionary set of like evaluating the person going on. We are not built to evaluate people based on online chatting. I think sometimes you can like fall for someone based on that who's not actually going to be attracted to you in person um, and just kind of cross your wires or whatever. So anyway, I met my husband in person and it worked out great. I was very attracted to him as soon as I met him in person. So anyways, we were very happy and um, it's it's a good deal for him. He, he's very happy to have like lucked upon a housewife who's like also intelligent and educated and everything but who's content to be a housewife. If it hadn't been for being sick, I probably would never have been a housewife, and I'm so kind of glad that I did end up doing this. It's a wonderful career. It's just, you can make it whatever you want it to be. You can, you can make it super intellectually demanding if you want it to be. You can really challenge yourself, or you can just keep it simple when you need to. So, you know, it's a wonderful setup, and we are so happy, and 